MTD Sins here in the East Midlands today. I'm at Croft Engineering uh, with Troy Dennis. Troy, uh, thanks for taking the time to speak to us this morning. Come into your machine shop here. You've got a lot of spindles in here, haven't you? You haven't got much space. No, it is a bit compact. Um, maybe the plan for the future is to expand. Uh, we've got some land that we can do that. But at the moment, yeah, we're just trying to configure it the best way we can. How regularly do you, do you buy machines? Because you, you're obviously a growing company. Yeah, we, we, we try to do something every year if we can. Um, in the last 12 months, um, we've had three new machines put in. Uh, one of them five axis as well which is okay now your, your journey we get, we're talking about the Lebwell machines we've got them behind us here in fact you're awash with Lebwell machines mm -hmm. here uh, and the three you mentioned are their machines too you started by buying their machines back about 30 odd years ago didn't you and that machine's still running today yeah yeah they're very very reliable obviously and uh, hence the reason we've we've bought more um, but there's more than that reason as well obviously we're trying to get all of the same type of machine into the shop so that we've got complete flexibility with the workforce if you can operate one you can operate them all so that's what we're looking to do and that older machine though is that still maintaining um you know the tolerances that you do because we'll talk about the work that you're doing in a minute but that's important isn't it not just for reliability but it's got to cut the part correctly yeah absolutely you know the, the, we don't have any issues um with the maintenance of them it's straightforward if we have a problem if we do have a problem they come out straight away um, and yeah, they're, they're keeping the tolerances over the years, that's proven. So, uh, And that would be the reason you've obviously invested in more of their plant. Let's firstly talk about the V30i's behind us. There was a need for some more vertical machining centres and, and these were the right ones for you. Yeah, that's right, because we've ventured into Formula One market. Um, that came our way. And um, obviously the, the tolerances that they need are equivalent to aerospace, um, which is what we do a lot of as well and uh, they're just a perfect fit. So. Uh, how does it work with your operators? You've got a lot of, a lot of bodies around here as well. How do you streamline you know, who uses what and how do you keep the spindle uptime to a, to a maximum? Well, obviously it depends on the runtime on the component. And, you know, if they're running something that's half an hour, then they can be running another machine as well, which is another reason for having the same type of machine because you don't get that situation that you do get in some companies where, oh, this is my machine and I can't operate any other one. So it just takes all, all that away. And, and then the latest V20i, this is a really nice little machine, this, five axis. Uh, have you been impressed with it since it's been here? Yeah, yeah, very impressed. It's our first venture into the five axis field, so to speak. Um, so we, we're going a bit gently with it at the minute, but they're getting better as each week goes by and we're putting more and more complicated parts on there. So I can see the type of part you're doing on there today, like a five-face machining yeah. component. That must be saving you an inordinate amount of time in set up by using that V20. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's one of the reasons for going into that. Um, but it's not just set up. Well, it's, it's all to do with setups. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. And when you saw that five-axis, there isn't many as small and as nimble and as... It's affordable, the right uh, word to use, but incredibly well priced. I like, to, I like to say value for money, to be honest, because you know when you're going into that arena, you, you start off where we are, or you can spend millions of pounds. And what we don't want to do is jump right in at the deep end, and then it's what because if it's not running, it's costing you money. So um, we felt this was the, the right way to go. Do you find that your guys all want to go on the new machines, or do, how, how, do you, how do you how do you man how did you manage that one? <laughs> Well, it, 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 it's funny because uh, some do and some don't. Some are frightened of it, but the, the guys that the guys that we've got on there at the moment, um, they, they, they've been used to running them before at other businesses. So, so that they're the people that we've got on them at the minute. And did Leeds uh, hold your hand through that journey of buying that new technology that you weren't clearly aware of? Yeah, all, all the way through. Uh, Brendan, who comes in here and sells us the machines, um, is very good and uh, it gets us all the help that, that we need. At Croft Engineering, you mentioned Formula One. What else do you do here, Troy? Well, we're, we're into aerospace, of course. Um, we've, we're just in the throes of getting Rolls-Royce approval, which is, which is a big, big for us. Um, we're in oil and gas, and also into the abrasives industry as well. So. And business good at the moment? Business is very good, yeah, it's, it's steady, uh, but we're looking to grow and obviously, hopefully, the investment in these machines is going to help us get there. Well, if, if you're going to grow, you, I don't think you'll get another spindle in here, so you no. will have to get a new building, yeah, and I wish, yeah, you, yeah. wish you every success of that. And maybe when you do, we can come back and see you again. Thank yeah, you very much, Troy. Yeah, yeah, pleasure to have you. Cheers.